हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो वेलकम बैक टू माय वीडियो यूट्यूब वीडियो चैनल सो हियर आई विल बी जस्ट डीलिंग विद सम ऑफ द फ्यू ऑफ द टॉपिक्स ऑफ स्ट्रक्चरल एनालिसिस लाइक आई थॉट ऑफ स्टार्टिंग विद द वन ऑफ द मॉड्यूल इन एनालिसिस ऑफ डिटर्मिनेट स्ट्रक्चर्स दैट इज आर्चिस एंड केबल्स बट एक्चुअली बिफोर गोइंग टू द आर्चिस एंड केबल्स लेट एस क्विकली गो थ्रू सम ऑफ द बेसिक्स वेरी 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 बेसिक्स कंसेप्ट ऑफ स्ट्रक्चरल इंजीनियरिंग और आई कैन से स्ट्रक्चरल एनालिसिस सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग मच टाइम सो वील क्विकली स्टार्ट विथ अवर वीडियो सो दिस इज अ इंट्रोडक्शन टू बेसिक्स ऑफ स्ट्रक्चरल एनालिसिस और आई कैन से स्ट्रक्चरल इंजीनियरिंग now what is a structure a structure refers to a system of connected parts uh, used to support load some of the important examples related to civil engineering include like we have bridges uh, buildings towers these are all uh, structures which are related to uh, civil engineering and in other branches of engineering we have like we have ships and aircraft frames tanks pressure vessels mechanical systems and electrical supporting structures these are also a kind of structures and uh, these come into some different branches of engineering apart from civil engineering now such structures are composed of one of uh, one or more solid elements arranged so that the whole structure as a as well as their components are capable of holding themselves without appreciable geometric change in the structure during loading and unloading right when you load and when you try to unload uh, the elements of the structure are not having any uh, geometric change like appreciable geometric change there will be some geometric change but they will not have some uh, huge change which you can observe so now uh, next uh, like uh, this is an introduction the design of a structure involves many considerations uh, among which uh, there are many major four objectives that must be satisfied the structure must meet the performance requirement like utility like if you are in a building uh, you should uh, live in that building without any problem without any discomfort that is a utility uh, like if you are using a ship it should sail through the sea or it should sail through the river without any leakages or anything that's actually the performance requirement of a structure the structure must also actually carry the loads safely yeah of course that is very very important the structure should be economical in material uh, construction and cost right that is uh, economy we can say uh, you don't want to spend too much of money into a s- building a safe structure uh, you should be economical also the structure should have a good appearance yes of course that is very very important nowadays uh, these are the major four objectives of any structural design it applies to any 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 structure i can say now uh, quickly some classification of structures the structural elements i can say like tie rods beams columns many many are there they are just a uh, small very basic things now what are the types of structures you can have we can have trusses cables and arches surface structures right now why this cables and arches i have included because i want to concentrate on this one next in the next video so you can see here uh, some of the structural elements like tie rod this is a reinforcement rod i can say it's a bar angle channel this is an i section column uh, and this is a beam with flexural simply supported beam cantilever beam fixed support beam and we have a continuous beam many 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 types are there just a brief introduction about uh, the classification of structures now the structural system uh, how i can define a structural system it's uh, this diagram will uh, exactly tell you how i can define the structural system now what are the if if i say this is a structural model with some supports uh, now what what are the inputs input for this structural system the inputs could be loads right live load dead load vibrations if any machine equipments are there settlements if any soil conditions come thermal changes if the structure is located in a very uh, regressive uh, rigorous uh, temperature changes now when you input all these things on a structural model right uh, what would be the expected out- output of that uh, that is i can say responses uh, these are inputs are i can say at excitations and what are the responses now what are the responses it could be in terms of kinematics it can have displacements and strains and in case of statics it can have stresses and reactions so this uh, diagram will actually tell you the definition of a structural system now a structural system can be one dimensional two dimensional or three dimensional depending on the space dimension of the loading and the type of the structural response that are of interest to the designer okay although any real world structure is strictly three dimensional 
any real world structure is a three dimensional for the purpose of simplification and focus one can recognize a specific pattern of loading under which the key structural response will remain in just one or two dimensional space right well, the, the meaning is all the real world structures are actually three dimensional but for our ease purpose and uh, for uh, us to concentrate or us to focus on some of the required loading patterns or required uh, responses we can assume that 3d structure as a one or two dimensional right <clears throat> now some of the basic examples of 2d and 3d structures are like we have 2d truss where the members of the truss and the loading are in the same plane right and uh, this is the one where we have a planar 2d structure uh, subjected to loads normal to the plane right and because these beams or these things are in one plane and the loading is on the perpendicular to that plane now what could be the 3d structures you can see this is a 3d truss and this is a 3d building now uh, some of the examples of 2d and 3d structures you can see here some shell structures so many so many so many things are there right okay uh, so then uh, uh, I will just uh, this uh, just quick introduction about the structural analysis. So the next video uh, I will be starting with the arches and cables. So the, the, that's actually a very basic uh, subject I can say. Uh, if you know the three equations of equilibrium, how to apply them, and if you know how to resolve the forces and all those things, uh, the subject the module will be very easy for you to understand and we'll go through the basic concepts first then we'll solve few of the numerical examples on cables and arches and uh, you can easily uh, study the things uh, by watching these videos right so we'll meet in the next video uh, till then okay bye